24,000 liters of potatoes. Oh, wow. That is not moving. Okay, this is not going anywhere. Hello and welcome along and welcome back to No Man's Land for what is likely to be our final time. We are going to be getting the rest of the crops that we got kicking around the yard sorted today and sold. Uh, we're starting off with the potatoes. Uh, they are, well, we've got a lot of potatoes to get sold today. So we're going to be stacking them up on the train. I think we've got like 48,000 litres just in storage on the potatoes. Uh, let's just drop to there. And yeah, 46,960 litres of potatoes in storage. So plenty for us to get sold here. I'm going to try and get them on the trailer in rows of three. This will be quite difficult simply because it's not that easy to get the middle box on. So you kind of need to, to get over to the side. The other thing that isn't helping this is the fact that you can see the... Oh, wow. The weight on the back of our tractor isn't really enough to completely offset the, uh, the weight of our boxes. So this is going to be a case of getting it off to there. Whoa, back it off slightly. And then trying to push these boxes into the middle. And I think we might try and get the middle boxes on first. Can I get the very tips? Yeah, that's not great weight-wise. But if we're slow, we can position that right where we want to. There we go. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be quite a careful and difficult task to get this done. Now that I've got one in the middle, though, I should be able to get others in. And then we can build up around that. Uh, and then we'll do the same on the next level as well. Uh, we're going to be using this tractor to actually go and sell these. Because, whoa. Must raise that a lot slower. Tip it back. Then raise it and hope I'm in the right place. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be going uh, and taking it with this, mainly because this tractor moves faster. There's going to be quite a bit of weight on the back of this, though. So uh, it's going to be quite a, uh, a harrowing ride to get everything to the sell point. And you can see this is just replacing these potatoes all the time so i'm gonna get the uh, rest of this trailer loaded up and then we're gonna see how much this first load of potatoes goes for and um yeah how much we can fit on here if we can get this done in two runs that would be brilliant so we've got our first 12 boxes on here just about uh we got thirty nine thousand liters still left inside the uh, garden along with the eight boxes that we have outside uh, so we've got nearly 50,000 liters still uh, in there and uh, and still kicking about so we're gonna need to go at least another one high that will put 24 well that'll take us down to uh, about 38 uh thousand liters uh left now that's not going to get it done in two however if we go three high that is 36 and that will get it done in two so that's probably where we're going to go we're going to apply the same way we're going at the moment and we're going to try and put these next row in the middle uh yeah place them smack bang in the middle if we can. I found out things are much more stable if you get it right on the back of the forks. Uh, this is able to handle the whole thing if you do that. So that's where I'm going with this. And we'll put another row in the middle here. And that will take us up to 24. And then if we can get one more row on the top. Um, I think I might end up just taking the brewer anyway. Uh, simply because if I try and switch tractors... A, there's slightly less power in this Massey. 
and it's going to have trouble pulling as a result. And B, I think we're just going to have issues trying to unhitch and hitch the trailer. Doesn't seem like a massively realistic thing to do to me uh, when you've got 36,000 litres of uh, potatoes uh, on, the, uh, on the back. We're now coming up to 23 pallets on this trailer. We have uh 28 uh, thousand liters in there actually twenty-seven thousand liters in there plus eight more out here uh so uh that is uh what that is uh thirty-five thousand liters still in there now my hope was that i was going to be able to do this in two goes but the instability in this trailer at the moment just don't think i can add oh that is not a happy trailer uh, i just don't think i can add another set on top i think if we do that we're going to be really pushing it as it is we've got that little slope coming up to the uh to the cell point where there's a distinct possibility the tractor just won't pull it up it so uh we'll see what happens there uh 24 so this will be 24 I think we're going to be left with about 34,000 litres of potatoes to get. So it's going to be a second trailer like this. Uh, and then a, uh, and then one final one of 10, which will just be six boxes. So we might, uh, if this causes a problem, we can uh, do that final box between uh, two of them and, and just have the... Uh, the weight a little bit less and it would be 18 to do that so yeah that would be uh, much nicer but oh this is this is not a happy trailer look how low that is right let's see if this tractor is even gonna pull 24,000 liters of uh of potatoes oh wow okay down we go and into the medium range. That is not moving. I'm just going to detach the hoses and reattach them. Just to make sure the brakes are actually off. It's because the ground is so slippery. Okay, let's try going backwards. Okay, more success going that way. We can get onto a solid bit of ground that doesn't have... Uh, snow with ice on it we might be in luck but you can see this is really struggling with this oh trying to move this much in the snow okay this is not going anywhere there is one vehicle we have on the farm that does have more horsepower though than uh, than our tractor here and that is our truck and if this works i will be amazed Right, let's get this up into gear. There we go. Right. I'm not sure this is going to work. So this truck has 200 horsepower. But we know it struggled a little bit in the past with this. And yeah, I don't think it's even going to hook up to this trailer, to be honest. No. Right. So we're going to try the tractor again. And I need to try and get a little bit more traction, I think. So let's try this again okay so i've set a hired worker trying to go on this and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try and push from the back with this and see if we can get this moving i think if i can get it on to some uh, better ground it might have uh, it might be better off but before you get too far on the ground we're away not very fast. Let's go into high. And take this down. Oh, this is going to be slow all going, I think. This is not going to make this by any stretch. I think we might have to take some of these off. We're approaching the sell point, And as I suspected, the tractor is having a little bit of trouble getting up the hill. So what we're going to do is just try and get the forks underneath the back of the trailer a bit lift a little bit of the weight off and if we can do that it looks like 
Oh, the tractor might make it up the hill. And then we can give it a good push as well. It's not the most orthodox way of doing it. And we definitely can't stack this this high again. It's been a real chore to get it up here. But the trailer is up here. And it's going to park it, I think, just to the side of the cell point. But we should be able to get this turned around. Yeah, now we're on some nice flat concrete. Much easier to get this trail around. And how much is 24,000 litres of potatoes going to be worth as they empty out? And we see what the final value is. 9,065. That was an awful lot of effort for 9,000 pounds. Oh. I don't know if this is going to be... Um... Oh, wow. I don't know if this is going to be worth it. I think the potatoes need selling on a more regular basis. Uh, let's get both these tractors back to the farm, though. So I'm going to send this back first. We're the hide worker. And yes, I think we're going to have to do these in 12,000 litre batches. So let's set the destination up beside our car. And that can head off. And I'm going to bring our little Massey back. So I think we need to find a way to speed things up here. And the way I'm going to do that is we're going to start getting two sets of stuff transporting. We know we can get a fair amount of stuff into the car, uh, into our truck. So I'm going to start loading that up as well. Uh, and then I'm going to set this off with the hired worker to go and sell uh this and hopefully it'll uh we can send it down there and uh, and then we'll send it back here uh, and then i've got an idea of what i want to do with the trailer so once the tractor and trailer gets back what we'll do is we'll get that doing as well uh, let's push that in i should be able to fit two in this space i think uh if i can't fit two in lengthways like this, I know I can fit another one crosswise. And then that will give us four on here. So that will take us down from 32,000 uh, litres to just 28. Uh, and then if I can get a load in as well, uh, that will then get us uh, into our cold storage trailer as well. Uh, that'll take us down even further. So that's what my plan is going to be. In the meantime, when that's selling, what I want to do is go and get this with the sides on the trailer. Because I think we can fill this a lot quicker if we actually have it just carting as normal. So let's get four more onto this. And then I'm just going to back the truck up to our freezer lorry. Connect the freezer lorry on. And we should be able to get another eight into that. So that will be 10 off here. And uh, that actually is more than I think we can get on our trailer at the moment. So we've got 4,000 litres into our truck. Let's pull this forward. Wow. That is now really adding a lot of weight. Look, that's so much weight on the back of this. That it's... um. Really push the back of that down. Oh. I hope this is able to handle this. Because it's going to be tough if it can't. Come forwards. Thank you. Right. And then as... Oh, well. Yeah, we're going to have to take these one at a time. We can't do the two by two as we did with previous. Uh, it's going to have to be uh, one at a time. Because they're just... Well, it's just too heavy for our tractor to handle otherwise. Oh, that's flicking about. Don't flick about, please. There we go. That's better. Need to get it as close to the tractor as possible. And then hopefully we can just get it on trailer here as far in as possible. Because we know that then this 
lifts the whole thing back. Although that is going to even things out a little bit. So that'll be fine. And then we'll put another one on top and then push that the whole way forwards. So that gets in as there as far as possible and gets the weight over the wheels. So it makes it easier for the whole thing to handle. Just everything does not want to work out properly. I think it's worth uh, not doing potatoes, to be honest. I think if you're with these gardens, I think you're probably better off doing lettuce or tomatoes or, or one of the other things. Unless you specifically have a reason for doing potatoes. Uh, if you're running a small farm, I think it's just too much uh too difficult to get all the potatoes that you get here uh to get them sold there are so many that this garden is producing the final pallet to fill up our cold trailer and then that will be them all on the way uh, so that's another 12,000 litres in this. Uh, if this works, this may be the better way to do it because it would be much faster than doing it the other way. Let's see. Let's close this up. Right. So how much we got left? So 22,000 litres with the, uh, the 14 that we've got here. So let's see if this will go. Let's let's just go and get this done quickly. I'm just very unsure about doing it the other way. And I think this is probably going to be the fastest way to do this. Oh, yeah. This is much better than our flatbed. We're already doing this at 25 miles an hour. Okay. So we're not transporting as many. We're only transporting 12,000 liters this time. Oh, instead of 24 brakes oh. um, but we are doing it 54 miles an hour which is great so that is a much much better way of transporting all this uh, even if it is putting all of my brakes under a lot of stress so we can get all of these sold let's open the back up and yeah listen to those sell Another 4,532 uh, with 12,000 litres to go. This is going to take two more runs. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go and fill this up twice more, get it all sold, and we'll see where we are at that point. And then we've got the silage to get sold off before we find out exactly where we are. That's another load of potatoes delivered, and we're now up to 78,345. And our Brockman has been an absolute godsend. It would have been, I don't even think, if we'd put 12,000 litres onto that trailer it, with that tractor, it would have gone... Uh, anywhere near as, uh, as well, definitely wouldn't have gone as quickly, and I think it would have still had a similar sort of uh, trouble trying to get stuff moved. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. That's worked out well. Uh, now, we actually have a set of uh, tomatoes and a set of lettuce. So, what I'm going to do for this final load is uh we're gonna load up with potatoes still and uh i'm gonna add in a couple well i'm gonna add in the extras as well the tomatoes we should easily be able to fit we've only got ten thousand liters of potatoes left i think uh yeah so we've got three thousand in there eight thousand here uh, it's not going to give us that full one unless it generates enough potatoes to do that last one. Uh, it's not going to generate a full one. So we're, we're going to end up with uh, not... Well, we're going to end up with two pallets fewer of potatoes. You don't need to go right to the front. That's what I learned last time. We can We can put this over the wheels for a little bit more stability. And then get this in here. So, yeah, I'm going to load this up, uh, get ourselves fully loaded. And uh, then we will head 
uh, back down. We'll sell off the rest of these potatoes. And we still have a whole load of silage bales to sell. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of going, oh, are we going to go to one more video? Uh, because we probably have enough at this point uh to do so so yeah we'll see where we are at the end of this we've even slowed the time down to five times but um it looks like the potatoes are taking longer than i expected to get rid of uh, i was hoping i was going to be able to load them up higher our last pallet of potatoes and it did spawn an extra one so we do have 11,000 litres of potatoes here. So, uh, yeah, we've just got... Uh, we've got space for one pallet on here. But we can... Uh, we can put something on with. And given that we have a single pallet of lettuce, I think we'll put the lettuce on and sell that. We're not too far from its best price. So, uh, yeah, we can, uh, we can just pop that on. And get a little bit extra uh, value off that. But it's crazy how long this has taken. I don't think uh, this is this is our last episode. I don't. I think we're going to have to have one more visit to No Man's Land here. We've still got so much to sell on here. We've got all the silage bales need selling so yeah it's not something we could do today with the sun setting let's turn all the lights off on the tractor so uh yeah let's go get this lot sold and then uh we'll be in a position to see where we are today there's still gonna be a whole lot of heavy lifting that needs to be done by the silage bales in order for us to, to get where we want to get. But uh, we do have a good chance still of getting fairly close to being all flush on this map. So back up to the cell point, hit the brakes. Oh, whoa. That's not good. That's not good at all. After a little bit of work, we got the recovery truck and everything's righted. Oh, so let's get this sold. What a palaver. And that is why you don't approach at full speed while you have a full load on it like this. In we go. And this final lot is worth a decent amount of cash. Last of it goes, and there goes the lettuce as well. And we're done. 5,159. So, yeah, more overall than, uh, than we earned previous loads. We still have the silage bales to sell. So this series still has at least one more episode to go. Will that be the end of it? There's only one way to find out. Be back here next time on No Man's Land to see if we finish everything off. For now, though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live, and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.